I'm here to give you a little update on what's going on with Ohio University in terms of our efforts to assist students following the West Union Street fire that occurred early this morning. Um, what I can tell you is we all know there is a meeting going on downstairs and I appreciate all of you for supporting the privacy of students and, and their families while they're going through this time. And so we're trying to give you the same information that they're receiving downstairs here now. And I'll provide a little time for questions as well and I'll answer them as best I can. First of all, um, I'll, just to give you a little flavor of what's happening downstairs, the president is providing a welcome to all those in attendance. Provost is also in attendance and the Dean of Students is, will be providing the updates that I am providing to you. Um, we were excited to stop in to see what kind of uh, donations we, we've received so far in such a short period of time. We are very grateful for the overwhelming support and donations from students, staff, community members. I'm sure they've come from all over. So that's been very, very helpful. We have tables set up downstairs to talk to students about uh, specific issues that might affect them, like parking, housing, dining, and the like. Um, that will provide a little, a little more direction as to what they need to do um, to get through this hard time. Uh, we also have a number of things that we're trying to do to assist, including transportation to and from um, hotels where they may be staying, um, gift cards to Walmart, Bob Bobcat Cash, um, meal plans, other things that we can do to try to assist during this time. Um, in addition, we've got linen packets with comforters available um, in terms of the cold. Uh, there, are, there are just a number of things that we're doing to try to support uh, both academically and, and emotionally. Uh, so with that, um, I'll be happy to take any questions that any of you may have. Any idea how much you guys received in donations down there? Right now we're seeing stacks of donations as opposed to uh, uh, you know, toiletries, clothes, that kind of thing, as opposed to uh, financial donations. And so I don't have that kind of information in terms of a conglomerate for you, but, but they're definitely uh, overwhelming uh, support in terms of the types of things that people might need to just kind of get through. Are they having hotels indefinitely or do we have a timeline on how long they're I don't currently have a timeline. We're still, you know, the entire situation is under investigation. It's very early. Is the university prepared to maybe keep them in these hotels long term? We're prepared to support them in any way that we need to. Um, certainly the, the well-being and safety of our student bodies is the most important to us. So we, you know, we don't know exactly what each student is going to need, but we're trying to be proactive in making certain that we're able to, to support them in the ways that they, they need individually. We had been told earlier in the day that four students were injured at some level, three were re released. My last thing I heard is one was maybe still in a hospital. Do you have an update on that? The only information I know right now about that is that exactly that, that there were four possible injuries of some sort, um, three of which were released. One, we don't have the, any information as to the status of that right now. Were the students affected just directly in those buildings that were on fire? Or are we looking at maybe the building Chipotle is in, the around, surrounding one of the buildings? I don't really have any confirmation as to where the students were that were injured. Anything else? How did the university respond starting from the beginning? If you could give us a brief synopsis of what OUTD and maybe other entities did as this became apparent what happened. Well, it, and I don't have every piece of information because certainly this was something that is in tandem with the city of Athens uh, as it is a city area fire. Um, but as with anything that, that they need assistance with, um, you know, we, we hop to as quickly as possible. CERT was eventually uh, activated and, and we supported from that end, but OUPD was on site um, almost immediately. I think that the call came in from OUPD uh, to me before 5 a.m., so they were definitely uh, already mobilized quite early. What's next for the university? Recovery. Um, we'll be dealing with our students, we'll be dealing with what they need in terms of, you know, uh, just physical things that they need to get through the day, but we'll also need to be dealing with them in terms of what their, their next steps are academically. Um, anything that they need in terms of support emotionally will also come into play. Any, in terms of counseling or anything like that? Or yes, we're, we're looking into exactly how to set that up best, and that will, that will probably happen through the Dean of Students Office. Is Ohio in terms University, of the, 
I'm sorry, is Ohio University open and everything's on schedule for tomorrow? As far as I know right now, I, I've heard of no closures. We'll, we will, of course, be dealing with some potential issues in the general location of the fire, but as of right now, I'm not sure as to what the extent of those will be. Um, any idea on the, the Women's Center or the Women's Gender Studies building, if that's going to be open, is that going to be regular business? I don't have any information about that right now. Any more? Thank you so much for your time. Thanks. I appreciate it. Um, as always, you're welcome to reach out to me if you have follow-up questions. Um, I, and if, if we have additional things happening where we're giving more updates like this, I'll be certain to let you know. Um, just continue to follow us on social media as well as our website, and you can gain quite a lot of information that way as well. Thank you. Thank you.